Milo, I'm Michael, and welcome to Pacific Beach Street. I'm trying to sneak up Northland to visit my family, and I don't want to be taking these fobs. No! Sorry, bro, car's had it, but if you need a lift, Sam's got his mum's car. No! And if Sam's gone up north, then so are we. Oh, come on, Mike! Northland, here comes Pacific Beach Street! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Bulla, 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 said I, a man called Sam. Later on today, meet another poet, a bard, a legend with a name so fine as mine, called Sammy Hunt. Yeah, yeah! Talo for lover, I'm Corinne. Stick around because later on, I meet a master craftsman who turns ancient Kauri into exquisite art. Kia Kaimoana is in my sights as I check out one of the best places in New Zealand to try my hand at sports fishing. Don't forget to check out the website for prizes and info, and you can watch us 24-7 on demand right here. Malo Alele, young and old, the history of Northland played a major part in shaping our nation, especially this location where the Treaty of Waitangi was signed. Stick around to find out more as we explore Taitokero. Northland is the northernmost part of New Zealand, made up of three districts, the far north, Kaipara and Whangarei. It's also known as the birthplace of our nation, with the first Polynesian explorers settling on the shores and sheltered harbours that provided them with lots and lots of food. According to legend, Kupe was the first Polynesian to discover the islands of New Zealand. This great Polynesian explorer sailed from Hawaii and landed at various places around the North Island before 1200 AD. That's more than 500 years before Captain Cook got here, making Māori northern settlements the oldest in the country. Shut, brother! Much of Northland's special character comes from its high percentage of Māori, who make up 30% of the area's population. In fact, Northland is the base for New Zealand's largest Māori tribe, Ngāpuhi, which has 125,000 members. Kia ora! In August of 1823, the Reverend Henry and Mary Ann Williams arrived in the Bay of Islands to set up a mission station. And by September, the first church in New Zealand opened for divine service right here in Paihia. This is the fifth church and is constructed of timber and stone from the forests and quarries of the north, built as a lasting memorial for missionaries Henry and William Williams. Praise the Lord! In the late 18th century, the Balanis arrived. They first came on voyages of exploration, followed by traders, whalers and sealers. News of the temperate climate the fertile land and the potential for kauri logging soon went back to the homeland, a big motivation for the migration which followed. Missionaries headed the next wave of arrivals. Now, while most settlers were British, many Dalmatians came after 1880 to dig for kauri gum. Whoa! Tane Mahuta, or Lord of the Forest, is the largest living Kodi tree in the world and is believed to be around 2,500 years old. That's older than Jesus. He stands at 50 metres tall. That's 30 times the height of me. Today, approximately 150,000 people live in Northland. Whangarei is by far the largest centre with just under 50,000 residents. Northland is nicknamed the Winterless North because of its exceptional climate that supports its two largest industries of agriculture and tourism. Yeah! Yeah! Did you know that Russell was the first capital of New Zealand, becoming the gateway for the Balangi settlers to exchange goods and supplies to the Maoris? Russell soon earned the nickname the Hell Hole of the Pacific, getting a bad reputation as a community without laws full of prostitutes. Well, nowadays, Russell is a haven for cafes, gift shops, and bed and breakfasts. Sekia Russell. That is disgusting! Sorry, I'm gonna be sick! Oh, fuck! You guys found my bait! 
There's nothing like two week old rotten meat to get the best Northland game fishing experience. Let's do it! Sports. Nicknamed an angler's El Dorado, Bay of Islands hosts some of the world's best fishing grounds. It's the sports fisherman's paradise, and today this sports fisherwoman is going to check it out. Jeff Stone, owner and skipper of Major Tom 2. How's it going, man? Hi, how are you, Kalia? Good. Now, Northland is meant to have some of the best fishing grounds in the world. Would you agree with that? The great thing about the Bay of Islands is we've got a lot of different species that are available, a lot of different sport fish that are available, and fishing is available all year round. Now, how would you define sports fishing? We're going out to, to, to pitch a, a bit of a battle with the fish in a way that gives the fish a bit of a chance to win the battle. So what you kind of want is for the fish to put up a bit, a bit of a fight so you get that thrill, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just not just going out meat hunting. Do you reckon we could give it a go? Oh, uh, we certainly will try. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Hang on here and I'll pass some rods and reels up to you. Eh? All righties. Well, we're using a 10 kg line. We've got an overhead reel, a little overhead reel, and an ugly stick. We've got a ledger rig trace with two recurve hooks. And on this particular occasion, we've got a, a four ounce sinker. We're only fishing in about 35 metres of water. If we were fishing in deeper water with plenty of current, we could go up to about eight ounces. So, shall we turn the water and have a go? Yeah, let's try her on. Okay, where you go. Do I jerk it up? Yeah, I'll give it a strike. <laughs> That's it. Okay. You got it. Push you back in. Now, Jeff, this seat is what you use for some serious sports fishing. How does it work? Just try and imagine holding on to that Ooh. for 14 hours. It's really heavy. Yeah, so put it in there and then hold the reel then. Hold that then. Right. Bit easier, isn't it? Yeah. The fish is capable of pulling that out easily, the big fish. Gee. So if you didn't have some extra support, you wouldn't be able to hang on. Now, so what we do then is, because it's really heavy, we give you a little harness to put on. Then we put this on here. And what does that do? That supports the rod. Yeah. Whoa. OK, now start winding. Go down, Whoa. go right down. OK, and then bring back again. Whoa. If you come up slowly, grab all the drag that's there and make the fish fight a bit harder so you can reduce this time of the fight on the fish. What we're trying to do is get the fish to the boat as quickly as possible because most of the marlin, we just put a tag in them, let them go again. What do we do? Okay, big one. Uh, that's my baby. Yeah! <laughs> Bring her in! Woo! Yeah, that's my baby! Woo! Yeah, I got a kingy! That's Jeff, not bad, eh? Oh my goodness, that's awesome! Jeff, I'd like to thank you for giving us the best sports fishing experience ever. If you guys want to know more about Jeff and the Major Tom too, check out his website right here and we'll see you all back at the house. See you later. Bye! Good one, Sam. You didn't put enough petrol in, and I'm supposed to take us to where the Treaty of Waitangi was signed. I did put petrol in, Solly. I'm just not used to putting in more than $5 at a time. Man, what a freshie. You guys stick around, because after the break, Sam catches up with Sam Hunt, and I learn to craft ancient Cody. Corinna, why don't you get us a ride, eh? <laughs>